97.9, KISS FM, it's Big Papa and Banna on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. Coming to the Funny Bone at Destiny USA on Tuesday, July 29th, the hardcore legend, Hall of Famer, New York Times bestselling author and comedian, and add a couple more things in there, Mr. Mick Foley. Good morning, my friend. How are you? Everything is everything is good. Thank you. you guys are more or less like my wake up call today. So, uh, uh, well, it's funny because <laughs> like this is like the calm before the storm for you. I was looking. I was looking at uh, realmcfoley dot com. You have a busy, busy uh, couple weeks coming up. Yeah, we got fifteen, uh, fifteen cities and fifteen dates, and of course, among them, Syracuse is absolutely my. My favorite of those. So, uh, Until the next interview, and then the, and then that other city <laughs> going for the cheap pop. I know how you roll. <laughs> no, well, there's no other. You know, I, I'm familiar with the area. You know, I, I, I you know, grew up listening to Wayne Mahar's Weathercast. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> well, you know what's funny? Again, we're talking to, to Mick Foley. You can follow him on Twitter at Real Mick Foley. Um, a lot of people don't realize, you know, they see the, you know, they saw the TV show when you were, you know, when you were active wrestling in WWE and whatnot. Um, but they don't realize how much you actually ha travel and how much you actually drive. So it's like, oh, you know, Syracuse, upstate, here, there, you know, been there, done that, bought the t shirt as far as driving wise. Oh, yeah, I'll get in, um, I'm sorry, you know, I have 15 dates, and then I have a couple of days off, and then I hit Syracuse, and then four cities in Ontario and Buffalo. So, yeah, I'll, I mean, I'll drive that whole loop from uh, Long Island. Like, Syracuse will be the easy part of that trip. You know, sure. Five-hour trip. And, uh, you know, I'll visit Cortland, where I went to school. Maybe I'll take the kids on a ride, you know, at Greek Peak, and then... Uh, yeah, then becomes the, the then it's the hard part. Now I feel my GPS even works in Canada. But uh, I, you know, the thing is, I I I hope people understand two things. One is I'm not actually a, a comedian who tells jokes; like I'm a storyteller, and uh, I will relay very humorous stories from my career. They don't they uh, don't have to be humorous. They can be just bizarre or touching, but uh, they tend to be laugh out loud funny. And the uh, second thing, I wouldn't be doing them. Like, I wouldn't go to this many cities to not be good. You know, like, I, I'm 49. Uh, I got the, the kids. Like, I wouldn't be out there unless I was sure I was going to deliver. And uh, if anyone was at the show, it's funny about the last time. I was like, yeah, he was much better than I thought he was going to be. Well, the, and, and that's the thing. Again, we're talking to uh, to Mick Foley on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. He'll be at Funny Bone Tuesday, July 29th. A uh, hardcore legend in evening with Mick Foley is the uh, is the uh, is the official title. And one of the things that I I'm drawn to this, and I'm an old school wrestling dork to, to begin with, <laughs> but don't really, man. Well, Come on now. You're wearing a t-shirt that says WrestleMania on it, New York and New Jersey. That's because I yeah. went to WrestleMania when I was down there. <laughs> Come on now. He has a wrestling, um, a WWE app on his phone. And if you've ever been to his house, it's just filled. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I'll take your word for it. Now I'm scared. I'm not going over his house. Uh, listen, you no, don't want no, to. Mick, let me tell you something. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like a restraining order. It's fine. <laughs> He's going to wrap you up and throw you in his closet. <laughs> <laughs> so, when, so, Mick, when, you, when you're doing like a tour like this and whatnot, is it a family affair? Is it you bringing like, you know, one or two people with you and just to, just to keep you company on the road? Or is it you with like, a, like an audio book and just put your head down and go? <laughs> I, 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 yeah, I take the kids. I, my daughter came with me on a few shows, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I don't think they'd be so into the the, the whole Ontario <laughs> Ontario part of the the trip. I guess we would pass Niagara Falls, which would be cool. Um, but no, no, it's not. You know, they, they, I asked the kids, the younger kids, if they wanted to go with me for a few days, and they politely passed. <laughs> so so it's, yeah, it's me and some tunes. And one of the things I love about it is, is I thought you were going to say it's an entourage. And uh, it's like, no, it's like as, as bare bones as it gets. And that's what I love about it. Like, you go to a wrestling show, if, if you happen to be off that night, then there's, you know, 20 other guys to pick up the pace. But uh, when it's just you on that stage and you get the per courtesy pop for about five minutes, and then after that, you'd better be entertaining. Yeah, after, after that, uh, you got to bring the goods. Yeah, you got to bring the goods. And, uh, you know, I, I find a way uh, to, to do that almost, almost every night. Uh, and I love it. You know, it's like, uh, it's like being in the ring. It's really, uh, you know, it's uh, like, you know, it's just you, except you and another guy. 
uh, trying to make something special happen. It's just you with a microphone, and uh, so I love it. It's like to me, it's it's, it's entertainment at its purest, and you just show up in a rental car. Um, and, uh, you know, you entertain people for an hour and a half just uh, with the, the, the stories from your past. So it's something I really enjoy. Talking to WWE Hall of Famer, New York Times bestselling author and uh, comedian, Mr. Mick Foley on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. Uh, RealMickFoley.com gives you the full itinerary of, of where he's going and whatnot. Um, I, I, what's the relationship like with, with you and the WWE? It seems like the, sometimes it's like hot and cold at times, especially, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's a little cold right now. Uh, I, I was in uh, I was in Boston. Uh, hold on one moment. That's okay. Let the dog out, guys. Kids, I'm talking to Big Papa Pump. You got to keep the dog behaved. <laughs> he, he happens he happens to be a big fan. He wants to get his uh, words in there. Well, obviously. it's running a little uh, a little cold right now. I was in in Boston the night before the pay per view. And I was like, hey, yeah, but, you know, I, I have off to the pre or post show. And I said, my kids are going to be there anyway. And they said, we'll get back, you know, let me check. And I guess they checked. And it's like, no, we're not happy with Mick right now. Oh. Uh, some of the things, um, you know, that I, I say, um, you, you know, may be a little too honest. Um, well, that's, but, I mean, that's part of, liking. that's part of you being you, though. That's, you know, you, you've been doing it for, for this, you know, for this long. Um, you have your opinions on what the good is, and, you know, the, the, the decision makers have their own opinion, and sometimes they jive, sometimes they don't. And, you know, when you get to a certain level and you're the bottom line and you hear something that, you know, isn't, you know, what they were going for, you know, I, I completely understand. And but one of the things with wrestling, you have to have a little chip on your shoulder to be successful, whether it be in the ring or, you know, a decision maker and beyond, right? That's a great point, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a nice balance between saying, hey, look, I made it, I'm in the WWE, look how well I've done, and, and striving to be the best, because um, you know, wrestling doesn't do well with a bunch of guys going, okay, yeah, this is good enough for me. Yeah, we're here. Like, uh, the whole business is predicated on people wanting to be, you know, better, wanting to take this guy's spot. You know, there's a lot of competition in there. Um, and in my case, you know, I, I, where I get into trouble a lot of times is just you know, by the fact that I do the Q&As at these shows, and I'm as honest as I can be. And, and thankfully... You know, the wrestling world still <laughs> believes that what I say is relevant. Because I'll see something like, Foley says this. It's like, it was a part of a Q&A. You know, like, I'm, I'm not going off and trying to make a big, bold statement. Right. But if somebody asked me, you know, the difference between, to, you know, today's, you know, to list something that was better in my day than it is now, then I'll do the best I can to... Uh, address that honestly and then um, it's picked up as news which I guess it is which is it's just nice it's, uh, we're talking to Mick Foley on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline Tuesday July 29th at the Funny Bone in Destiny USA so uh, make sure you, you check that out follow him on Twitter at Real Mick Foley and RealMickFoley.com is there someone that you really enjoy watching uh, that's active right now someone like oh I, I definitely make, need to make sure I see him oh yeah like uh, Bray Wyatt for example is so good that uh, when I cut promos in my head like I used to, you know, for so many years when I was wrestling, uh, I cut them as Bray Wyatt. So uh, I'm doing doing Bray Wyatt promos in my head as I drive down the road. That's like, hysterical. This is how I would do that promo in his voice. <laughs> love it, absolutely love it, uh, Mick. Thank you so much for the time. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna gonna make the way out to uh, to Destiny Funny Bone on the 29th and uh, t stop and say hi. And I'm I'm really looking forward to the show. If anything, and especially because of the books, uh, my favorite. I'm not a reader. Uh, I don't know if you probably <laughs> man, I can tell that for but, yeah. yeah. Um, I I'm not a reader, but at the same time, uh, the books that I do enjoy feel like I'm sitting next to them at a bar having a conversation and hearing like behind the scenes stories and stories of things that happen like real stuff real scenarios and th that's why I'm so intrigued with this uh, coming on the 29th oh yeah you'll, you'll, you'll enjoy it I mean it overperforms uh, wrestling fans expectations and it's a it's a fun night and as, thanks for mentioning the website once you go to the website realmcfoley.com just click on events and uh, you can order tickets right there uh, the last time we were through we did sell out so uh, I advise people to get on and uh Make that move quickly. Absolutely, and 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 I know you're a frugal guy, um, so I'm offering to buy you dinner when you come up when you come into town. 
<laughs> I might do that. Uh, yeah, keep in touch. Depending on how uh, how soon, how early I get to the show, I might take you up on that. Uh, why, hey, I'm I'm down. Now, now you should definitely think this through before meeting him somewhere. No, stop it! <laughs> stop well, it! I would think this place, through. You know? At least, I'm not yeah. coming over that house full of uh, no, no, no. knickknacks. No, no, no. 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 no you see, that's, that's the thing. You never, <laughs> you can't do, it's not like I'm saying, hey, come come over to my mom's. She's cooking dinner. That'd be like a little awkward. But if he happened to like, on his way just through Syracuse. Your, just let your wife and kids know where you're going. So that way, if you do end up missing, he's the first person they'll ask. Better shut up. <laughs> you are not helping my cause here right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, as you're as you're passing through, get off in Utica. We'll get some old school Italian and uh, and make sure you have handcuffs or something, maybe some mace, a taser. Uh, <laughs> <shall>. <laughs> Mick Foley, uh, realmcfoley.com for the website at the Funny Bone on the 29th. Dude, thank you so much for the time, and we'll see when you come into town. All right, thanks, I appreciate it. All right, we're gonna thank break. You. Come back, Big Pop and Ben on Kiss FM.